It's a meal, my back's really sore. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode. Um, da, 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 da. Before I start this one, I wanted to just highlight one product. This is from, again, this is not a sponsor. This is stuff that I've bought myself and it's really good. So any, any tradesman out there, if you're looking for some safety glasses, or well, this is more like looks like a, some kind of reminds me of boba fett for some reason i was thinking of actually spraying it to look like boba fett but uh, <laughs> but let's not go there so these are really good i use these uh, a lot i have lots of other pairs now you probably probably can't hear me but um i mean one they look fantastic two um you can actually see out of them Three, they do not fog up so far I've used them everywhere and I, I find that they actually never fog up and they also keep any bits out of my mouth which is awesome because most of the time when I'm drilling I'm drilling like that you know let's say I've got a drill bit usually big hole saw and I'm drilling and things go into my mouth um, other goggles, I've tried the Dewalt ones, I've tried all other different types. They say anti-fog, but within two minutes they all fog up and you cannot see anything. Um, so, I'm not sure if I said where they're from. Um, I believe I got these from NZ Safety Blackwoods. Um, the ones local to me. But yeah, these are an absolute treat. If you mess up the the visor on the goggles, you can just buy that specific part because this does unclip. So you can use it just as goggles, but I find it's a million times better to just use the entire thing. So there's that. Now I can put that aside. Okay, so back on to the video of today. It's a very important one, especially I think for every tradesman because you'll notice majority of tradesmen, they, they end up with some kind of slip disc. You get a lot of tradesmen have been wearing um, belts for a long time, so I like tool belt and it tends to sag on the hips and causes like some some guys have issues with their hips due to them being overused because of the weight of it. Now, I've been using a product for oh, about a year now, um, mm, under a year, but almost a year, can't put the exact date on it, and I absolutely love it. So I found a company called Atlas 46, the Saratoga tool vest. If anyone else in New Zealand has one of these, uh, let me know, tell me what you think of it. And you know, by all means, show me how you've customized yours. And yes, I said the word customize because you can completely rearrange where everything goes. Um, I think enough, enough talking. I think I'll just show you. Here we have the tool vest. Um, now when it comes, it does not come with any of these pockets and such um you buy each piece separately you can buy a starter kit you can buy there, there are plenty of kits i'll put a link down to atlas 46 um but this is by far the best thing ever it's the best tool harness um now the cameras there we go the camera can now pick it up so you know i do mostly electrical work um I do do carpentry and some building, but that's like to help people out and such. Um, so I tend to have some like, it's usually a, a square in here, which I don't know where it is right now, because I just kind of pulled this out of the van. 
Um, but yeah, all the pockets for uh, if you want to put electrical tools and such, um, they're actually great. Like I've got, if if you can see it, like, um, uh, can you see it? I hope you can see it. So I just tilt there. So I've got my screwdrivers, long nose, pliers, side cutters. Um, probably the only electrician that carries one of these. It's very handy, extremely handy. I've got a, a short nail bar just on the side there. Um, got my vault stick, knife, small level. There's usually a square in there and there's usually another wide scraper. Um, these are my lovely precision snips. Also, usually I have my pencil there. I normally have some bits here. So th this is actually magnetic. So I can show you what I have here. Yeah. And it's, it's a decent, strong magnet. Uh, the pouch. So this pouch I've attached another pouch to it, which I just keep a punch, a nail punch. And I usually just chuck like my screws and bits and bobs in there. Um, now this belt that's flapping around because I haven't attached the belt. So this is what actually takes most of the weight. And yeah, sorry guys, like my trousers are falling down and I seem to have put on a couple of kilos in the last, in the last couple of weeks. So there we go. So that's snipped in place. So currently, if I don't zip the harness up, this is working exactly like your general tool belts. Um, the moment I zip this up, now the weight is just spreading across the torso, which this is what I love about it. It's like um, it's just a lot more comfortable, easy to move around. Um, the holster is great, so where the bit go? Oh, it's on there. Okay, so a bit on there's for tech screws, but right, so I've I've plenty of choices. I can stick it in here. Right. Need that right now. And I love this about it. So if I'm working up heights, that is now strapped in. And when that's strapped in, that's not going anywhere. Like, I can jump around, jiggle about, and, like, that is not going anywhere. That is in there nice and tight. Um, it doesn't just fit the small ones. So, I mean, we've got my Bosch here and my Panasonic for comparison. Like, the Penny, these things are beautiful. But And then we've got this beastie. Um which can still fit in there. Nothing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, always lock your tools in mid position, right? If you're going to stick them in your pockets with a drill bit. <laughs> that was a... I think we're going to have to do a... Um, a near-miss report form for that one, right? Because... <laughs> You can move this wherever you want, anywhere you want, you can move this. These are what they're like. Everything comes, like this vest comes by itself. There's nothing else on it usually. And it has these straps, right? So they go through these loops. So you can see all these loops everywhere. Like when the vest comes, it's just comes with those loops. And whatever you buy comes separate. So you stick these through the loops wherever you want like for example if i wanted this down there i'd unloop those i'd stick these through the loops they hold very well and then they have another velcro that goes over keeping them in place and keeping them attached to the loop the other thing i find really nice about this product is the fact that they have what i believe is some kind of copper lining so you can shape this however you want. You know, if you, if you want it like closed, you can just squish it closed, right? But if you want it a certain specific shape 
put in, God knows what you put in yours, but yeah, um, you can have it opened out and you can have that one opened out. And yeah, um, now this is the builder's pouch, which you would generally replace for this one. There you go, there's that. Drop back down there. But the weight this can take before you feel anything is absolutely ridiculous. So there's now the uh, boss drill. That's kind of where I usually keep that one. And then I put my impact right here. You know, sometimes I'll even put my impact where down there, depending on what I'm doing, you know, because sometimes I need more than just one thing. Um, and the belt clip on this one is on the other side. So when I don't have the nail bar, there. So I've got currently this one hanging there. So I've got the Panasonic Impact, the Bosch Impact, and the other one. I could still stick another one in here and be happy as Larry. How much weight this thing can take. It can, it's ridiculous uh, without still feeling anything and it's still fine on my hips fine on my waist fine on my lower back my upper backs it's great on that i have a cervical hernia i've had it since i was 21 years old um hence why i've always been into a tool vest rather than a tool belt or um i i have used uh carl camelings um engineer bags which are really good they're like a wheelie bag um, I've used their rack sacks before which are actually still pretty good because you take off the rack sack but everything's there but the problem with those they're not on you you have to place them down um, whereas a tool belt or a tool vest is most practical for any tradesman um, so I'll quickly go and grab that framing gun without destroying things here. Da -da -da. Now, this is a beastie of a thing. And I know, well, most builders that I know do not like to hang this on their tool belt. Whereas for me, it's no problem. And I don't even feel that. Like, I can put it wherever. I just don't feel it, you know? Um, so like if I've got it down there, I can still have my impact, you know, or if I use the penny, because that way I don't have to switch um, the belt clip. So I can have the penny, my impact, I can have the framing gun. Um, I don't generally have all these on at the same time unless I specifically need them. That's locked there now you can buy all kinds of other things to stick to this thing there's even bit holders that the way they look is crazy amazing awesome it it just reminds me of uh, uh, like military tactician vests because the bit holders look like um, ammunition rounds um, which is really cool you know it's absolutely awesome um, but yeah I'll, I'll get rid of these and I'll just uh, is off right yeah so I will just get to the back of this right so where this thing gets even more interesting apart from the fact that you can move this stuff is the hammer holster which Sorry, I have to show you my, my bum, but um, it's the only way to kind of show you. Oh, I could take it off, but I can move this also wherever I want. Uh, most tool belts, holsters, when you put them on and you've got the hammer in, the actual head of the hammer seems to be close to the spine. And I don't like that because if I was to fall down backwards, or fall on me but um, that hammerhead could damage you know my spine so 
I've got it offset, so it's it hits my bum cheek instead. You know, at least I'd rather have a sore cheek and a bit of bruising in the muscle than have a damaged spine. So hence why it's to the side. But I still, you know, grabbing it is fine. Putting it back in, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of not used to having a hammer holster at all because the CK1, oh, I had one. It was just on the side, but I never really used it because I hated the feeling of the hammer knocking into my thigh or my knee wherever it would knock into but um alongside that this is actually a drinks holder <laughs> which i don't use as a bottle holder um i'll show you fits bottles in nicely so so here's a bottle and there we go so, you know, if you're up a ladder somewhere and you can take your drink with you, I mean, you can use it for whatever you want. Just because it's a bottle holder doesn't mean you have to use it for bottles. Like, I've been using it to hold cable ties lately and other bits and bobs like my... such as my croppers, my snips. I mean, yeah, I could put them elsewhere. It's just I like to have divisions of stuff in certain places that I don't use as much as others. Um, you know, if you are a plumber, you'd be using this a lot. Actually, also, if you're a Sparky, you'd be using this a lot. So, I've never tried this, but there you go. How about that? So, you know, you obviously want to turn this thing in the locked position so you don't accidentally set yourself on fire. Um, actually, I not sure what this would be like for fire i wouldn't jump in fire with this thing on because um you know this would probably make pretty good tinder so i'd avoid that as much as possible but yeah if you're doing some heat shrinking you know you've got your tool your hand tools your basic hand tools uh you might have your drill in there like little impact driver or something all right let's let's make this more um as of how it generally is, so. You've got that, you've got your hand tools, you've got your pencil, you've got your gas bottle, you have your hammer, which I don't think very many Sparkies actually have a hammer on their person. Now what I'm gonna do is take all of these out and this is something I love about this so the pockets on this thing um, oh god what calls yeah I'll check that later um, so the pockets on this thing are huge I mean that's the note 10 plus whatever it was I mean that's gone down in there no problem there's another pocket here that goes just as deep. They, they come to like, where is it? Yeah, around there, which is great. And then you've got these two pockets, which go all the way around to here. Uh, for me, usually, I generally chuck gloves and stuff in here. Um, like just nitrile gloves. I think I took them out. There's none in there at the moment, or I used them up. Um, I absolutely, absolutely adore this thing. It's the best purchase made in a long time, especially when it comes to my health. And the fact that I don't have to go up and down, up and down, up and down ladders because there is something missing. There's more than enough pockets on this thing to put what you need for whatever you're doing and more, you know? You can change these plates, right? Oh, a bit of timber. Okay, so yeah, the magnetic strip is just a Velcro piece. Right? I can move it where I want. Um, I'm a lefty and put it on the left side, but no. I'm right handed, so draw right hand, screws on the left hand. Like the pros, they're, they're just 
plenty pros. Um, it, you can get so creative with this. I've, I've seen some images online where people have got really ridiculously creative with this. Um, but personally, myself, the way I have it set up works for me. Um, the only cons I can think of, one, it took about three months to get here because this is handmade. Two, the price, approximately two grand. But if that means it saves my back and, you know, tradies, you, you're going to, you know what it's like. You, you're wearing these things every single day for eight hours or more. Like sometimes I'm doing 16 hour days. And if I was wearing a tool belt for 16 hour days, which is really pulling everything down and like hurting me back, it's it's not good. Um, this thing does actually make me stand straighter. Uh, whereas a tool belt tends to like, I've only worn it maybe once or twice in life, uh, a to an actual tool belt. And they used to make me slouch a bit, so I didn't like it. Um, but this makes me stand up nice and tall and yeah, it's got most of the bells and whistles you need for so price. Uh, but can you put a price on your health? Um, I don't think so. Also, if you get it insured, you'll be covered. So, you know, we get our vans broken into all the time, but if you've got it insured, whatever you paid for it, it you, you'll you'll be able to replace it. I, I wish there were actually more companies making stuff like this and making it customizable. Um, Cause it would be nice if, uh, if Atlas 46 either a drop their price. So more people will buy it. I mean, it's either that or more tradesmen realize that their health and welfare means more than the money. Because uh, for me, it was more of the fact that my health means more to me than um, the money itself. Also, with this, it's easier to go around doing jobs. Because I just swing this on and I got everything but my meters. Usually, I keep a clamp meter on here as well. And usually, I have a lot more tools on this thing. Even the, even the loops that are made for, um, the loops that are made for like the attachments to go on, you can use them for things, man. Like, um, if you had this, let's say the holster on this side, which means, you know, your drill would be either there or there. Um, you know, you could hang. Like that went there and that went there. I could hang other drills off it. I mean, this bit here, I could hang drills off that, which I don't like doing because that's the only loop that's a little bit different. Uh, I, th I think the loops here are actually made for pencils or something to slip them in because that's the only thing I can make sense out of or because it's actually um, separated, divided. So you can actually stick things in there, but I haven't. Um, I do tend to stick this thing in there, but you could, if you want, stick your drill bits in there, right? Like you've got that option, which is not bad because you get got your drill there and then your drill bit right next to it. This is an absolute beautiful piece of kit. This handmade, it's very resilient. Like I go through it like crazy it comes in two color options i went for this one because i find it doesn't get it gets dirty and dusty but you can't see it there's a black one but as soon as you get any dust on it and i'm always cutting ceilings so it just be whitish blackish look weird um this color it, this is the coyote i believe so this color actually um it is dusty but you can't tell, right? Um, it still looks quite clean, like wherever it is. And 
it looks good it feels good everything is there where i need it it's got pockets so you know you can shove your wallet in there there's no like um, trying to get into your pockets like i can still get into my trouser pockets even with this on i thought it was important for me to showcase this for the fact that our backs you know um our well-being our safety is really important so this is a product that will keep the longevity of your bag especially if you know if you've just finished your apprenticeship or something and you're young you know you'll be doing this for the next what 20 30 40 50 years big clap well atlas 46 Ah, oh, one thing I didn't mention is there are particular sizes, but uh, this is the smallest. Now, even though it's the smallest, like I'm not a very big lad, but you can see the loops here. It's very similar to a military vest as well. So there are loops and buckles and you can tighten it as much as you want. Um, well, this one, obviously, I can only tighten it until these these points meet, so I could make it even more. Uh, it's nice to have a bit of breathing room. You know, it's winter. I can't wait in winter. Summertime comes, it seems to drop off. I don't know. Story of my life. Um, also, this way, these... Where is it? So, I don't know if you can see... Oh, all right there's a strap here you undo that you can tighten this top piece up all right um for me this is comfy where it is so i'm not going to mess around with it because when you first get it out of the box you do spend a little bit of time adjusting it and making it right for your body and for your comfort level also one other equipment which has nothing to do with atlas 46 so I'd like to uh, give a big applause to is the Lyra pencil. This is absolutely fantastic. I've tried lots of different other pencils. But this one I find quite impressive. It's got your sharpener on the side. You put crayons in it. I know that sounds dorky. Um, but sometimes we want like red or yellow, you know, if, if there's build and wrap, you want to mark on that yellow's nice. It sticks out. Red's nice on wood. It sticks out. And obviously you've got the pencil lead. There are refills. So that's great. It can get through most holes, which is fantastic. And you can sharpen it as of when you need it. No more Stanley knife required to do so. But yeah, if you like this one. Please, please, please like, share, subscribe. If you don't like it, you know, hit the dislike. It's not going to hurt me feelings. This one's for the tradies. And the reason I wanted to talk about it is because for the past six months, I've been hearing more and more of my colleagues having back pains or neck pains or you know some kind of weird pain somewhere in their torso so i wanted to address my thoughts on tool belt versus the saratoga tool vest on that note stay safe have fun and i'll catch you guys next time right